Schizophrenia is a severe and chronic brain disorder characterized by abnormal social behavior. Common symptoms include false beliefs, unclear or confused thinking, reduced social engagement and reduced emotional expression. About 1% of people worldwide are affected by schizophrenia. Anyone at any point of life can get it. Families and society are also affected because many patients have difficulties in holding a job or caring for themselves, so they rely on others for help. We don't know the specific causes. However, scientists have long known that the schizophrenia run in families, indicating that genetic factors are involved in the development of the illness. And recent scientific studies have identified genetic variants that are risk factors for developing schizophrenia. Most of the genetic factors lie on the chromosomes that we inherited from our father and our mother. N no, they aren't. In almost all human cells, the genetic information are located in two compartments, the nucleus and the mitochondria. The nucleus contains the nuclear DNA on the chromosomes and codify for more than 20,000 genes. The mitochondria contain the mitochondrial DNA, a small and double circular DNA molecule that contains only 37 genes. Mitochondria are parts of the cells that are involved in the generation of energy required for metabolism. This is the most important function, although mitochondria are also involved in cell growth, cell signaling and cell death. A particular and fascinating characteristic of mitochondrial DNA is that it's inherited only from the mother. That means that mitochondrial DNA presents maternal transmission. This is the question that we are trying to answer. Several evidences indicate that the mitochondrial genome may be involved in schizophrenia. In this manuscript, we have hypothesized that mitochondrial DNA variants will be present in schizophrenia patients and involved in the clinical characteristics and mitochondrial function. For this purpose, we analyzed 14 schizophrenia patients to identify variants that later on will be investigated in a larger cohort of 500 schizophrenia patients and 600 healthy control subjects. We identified two variants that were more frequently present in the schizophrenia than in the control group, indicating that these variants could be risk factors for schizophrenia. Unfortunately, we were unable to identify any relationship between these variants and the clinical characteristics or mitochondrial function. Therefore, further studies are needed to elucidate the implication of mitochondrial DNA in schizophrenia.